tail of the tape. Andre Harrison does have a slight leg reach advantage. Mavlid one inch longer in the arms of the punches. And of course, Andre Harrison two inches taller and three years older than the young killer Mavlid Haibulayev. Lillian Garcia, get these featherweights going. We are back in the featherweight division, and this is a classic Russia versus USA matchup. This fight is presented by Cage Muscle with ultra premium sports nutrition supplements to fuel your performance. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, he is a wrestler standing at five feet, six inches tall, weighing in officially 145 pounds. He is the only undefeated fighter in the featherweight division with a record of 14 and 0 and owns the fastest finish in PFL history at just 10 seconds. Fighting out of Dagestan, Russia, here is Movlid, the killer Harbulayev. His opponent fighting out of the red corner. He is also a wrestler, standing at five feet, eight inches tall, weighing in officially 146 pounds. He has been victorious in 21 of his 22 fights, fighting out of Freeport, New York, and representing the United States of America. Here is Andre the Bull Harrison. Your referee in charge, Keith Peterson. Keith Peterson will wear the referee cam in case we need a look inside of our PFL smart cage. Movlid Haibulayev in the silver shorts. Andre Harrison in the red corner with the green trunks. Stay ready. Stay ready. Ready to go here in featherweight action. Undefeated Haibulayev. One loss, Andre Harrison. Undefeated versus one defeated. And already this bout has gone longer than Movlid Haibulayev's <laughs> U.S. debut. <laughs> Respect shown from both of these fighters as they will feel out, gauge distance, try to solve the puzzle. And who's going to ask the first real question? Andre Harrison. Andre Harrison attempts a body kick there, shrugged off by Movlid Haibulayev. Haibulai have good friends and training partners with Ahmed Aliyev, who we'll see later against Chris Wade. They actually spent a good majority of their training camp for this fight in, uh, I believe it was Abu Dhabi in the United Arab Emirates, running up sand dunes, training together. A lot of respect by both these guys. One strike thrown so far, another inside leg kick there. Both orthodox fighters. Overhand right Rhino, spinning back kick. That one connected. Flipped. Andre that Harrison. Connected. Andre's hurt. Got that heel, it looked like his hand was in the way of catching a flush on the chin, but it definitely had a lot of impact to it. Yeah, Andre was stunned for a second. I don't know if he's back yet. He had his eyes open, back against the cage there. Andre Harrison now. Back to bouncing around a little bit. If he was stunned, I think he's shaking it off. Yep. Haibulayev right now atop our featherweight standings. In fact, he can clinch at least the number two seed with any finish here in the first, second, or third rounds. And of course, a first round finish likely will clinch him that number one seed because of time spent in the cage in his first bout was only 10 seconds. Nice right jab, hand. followed by right hand. Steps in with that shuffle right hand, does Mowgli Haibulayev, and now he's on the back of Andre the Bull Harrison. And this was my question about Haibulayev. What is his wrestling like against some of the best wrestlers in this division? Well, I told you he trains with Ahmed Aliyev on our PFL roster, also friends and training partners with Habib Nurmagomedov, arguably the best active fighter in the world right now. So it's not like he's not tested in training. It was a very slick chain step. 
right hand to that waist tackle to take uh, <coughs> Andre's back. He's settled right into this position, making it difficult for Andre to get out of here. Now this is interesting. It's a bit of a role reversal here for Andre Harrison. Most of the time, he's the aggressor. He's the one grinding on someone in these grappling and wrestling exchanges. And now he finds himself in defense. But so far, uh, successful is the bull. I wonder when the last time Andre the Bull Harrison had to fight hands. I think it's been a while. He did a nice job of fighting hands to get out of that position. Oh, big right hand by Habula. Habula keeps showing that right high kick three or four times already here in round number one. 90 seconds inside of 90 seconds left. Testing the chin and the defense of Andre Harrison already. But he's also doing more work on the inside. Hopefully he's landing shots on the inside, punching off of the breaks. Andre's got to look for some offense in these positions. Andre trades places with Mowgli. Mowgli back now. Got Andre back against the fence. A little dance there. And Randy, how important is this head and shoulder positioning when you're talking about these clinches against the cage? Really the most important thing about controlling a guy there is having good head position, being able to use that underhook effectively and trap a guy there. On the exit, Mavlid throws a little bit of a hook. That's what I'm talking about. That's what Harrison needs to be doing. 30 seconds left here in round number one. Andre Harrison finding himself on the defensive a little bit against our top featherweight seed, Mavlid Haibalaya. Flying knee again, Harrison hurt at the 10 second clapper. Harrison's in trouble. Is in big trouble. Keep Peterson on top of the action. Mavlid Haibalaya attempting to bell pat ring, down. Bell ring. The bell rings. Is Keith Peterson calling a stop to this fight or sending Harrison back to the corner? Mavlid Haibalaya thinks he has won the bout. Cage to take a look at Andre Harrison. We'll get some clarity here as soon as we have Fight's it. not over. I think there's going to be a round two, but boy, he was in deep trouble. Corners in the cage. Doctor back out of the cage. Keith Peterson in control. Might be the first actual save by the bell I've ever seen in MMA. There's the flying knee. Listen for the bell. Harrison coming back up. And there's the bell. Harrison still aware, still awake, certainly in trouble. Great call, I think, by Keith Peterson to end this exactly at the bell. No extra punches, but Andre Harrison, as you said, quite literally saved by the bell there. Yeah, we've seen it just a few times. That's a dangerous position to be in. Keith Peterson made the call. That was Andre Harrison being saved by the bell. But how much has he recovered in that minute? He gets 60 seconds between rounds. He has never been stopped in his mixed martial arts career. Only one loss. Harrison in the green trunks. Haibulayev in the silver with all the momentum going into the corner. But he thought he had won. That's a different mental shift. You got to go back to business. Back to work. Yeah, it's not over. But what I want to talk about is what started that flurry. The flying knee. He timed it again. He uses that like, like most guys use punches. He's very accurate with that flying knee. I tell you what, if you follow PFL MMA on Instagram, if you follow Mowgli himself on social media, there were several videos of him training that technique. It's not an accident. It's not a fluke. He knows how to practice that. He knows how to time it. And we saw evidence of it again also in the first round. I don't know if Andre Harrison is still hurt, but he is very tight. Look at the way he even throws his punches. He is not relaxed in there right now. He is definitely... Oh, opening up a little bit that right hand. Mowgli, almost on cue. Harrison says, I've got some for you. And now Mowgli grabbing the takedown attempt at least. Maybe he's stung with that right hand. Saw the knees give a little, but he caught himself. He didn't go all the way down. Came right back up, and we wound up in this clinch. Well, this is shaping up to be the high-level contest we thought it would be. Only 
five, six minutes into the bout and already some really intense exchanges. Excellent recovery, by the way, from Andre Harrison. Double underhooks. Wow, Montpellier. whips him over with that, with that wizard. Just misses the uppercut, and now a right hand. Montpellier Haibalaya with a little bit of blood on the forehead. I feel like Mobley may have woken something inside Andre Harrison with that flurry at the end. I don't know if Harrison's ever been in that position in any of his fights. His lone defeat came from last year's champion in what was effectively a wrestling and control exchange. Harrison back from the very brink of defeat at the end of round one. And you see the blood trickling down the face of Mavlid Haibulayev. Hook just lands. Searches one to the body. This was the fight that I was most excited for when I saw the card laid out. And it's, been, it's lived up to the potential already. Chance of USA raining down from our Atlantic City crowd as Andre Harrison controlling the cage in round number two. Searches for the head kick. Another jab from Mowgli. Andre thought he was a little closer to the cage than he was there. He fell into it. Two minutes left in round number two. Nice double pump by Mowgli on the jab. The second one lands. I tell you what, Eve, for the way that first round finished, Mowgli is certainly respecting the power of Andre Harrison after the right hand landing. I definitely after that right hand landed. I don't know if he respected it before that, but now he's got all kinds of respect for, for the power of Andre Harrison. 90 seconds remaining, five points still on the line here in round number two. Nothing like tasting your own blood to give you a little respect for somebody. It's a mental adjustment, is it not, Randy, when a guy takes the best that you've got and recovers? Yeah, no, amazing. Uh, Lily, as you said, on the brink of winning the fight in the first round, thought he had won the fight. And he has to reset, come back out there and go back to work. Gets caught with a great hook, buckles his knees. He's in a fight. Well, Lee, oh, nice, nice combination. Both men punch off the brakes. There were two short breaks in that exchange. Both men were throwing shots off of him. Nice level change by Mowgli, follows through. Both guys punching off the break. Great sprawl and recovery by Andre Harrison. He stuffed that takedown. If you're wondering what high-level featherweight mixed martial arts looks like, you're watching it. Tune in right now. Call your friends. Get them over here to ESPN+. Plus. Andre Harrison in the green trunks. Movlid Haibulayev in the silver. Putting on a display of power, technique, and resilience on both ends. Ten seconds left in round number two. Harrison explores a head kick. Back for round three in 60 seconds. Here's some round two action, that right hand that landed for Harrison. Eve, did he steal round two after coming from the edge of defeat in round one? Ooh, that was a close round. Both men were in it, but I can see a judge giving that round to Andre Harrison, and that means that this round is everything matters here, and both men should feel that way, and I cannot wait to see who really wants it. I agree with that. I think that the question is, was that first round a 10-8 round, as badly as Andre Harrison was hurt? And, and I definitely think that Andre came back with that right hand and, and really stole the second round. Gotta show us you want it now. Harrison in the green trunks, Haibulayev in the silver, both looking relatively fresh given the frenetic pace of both rounds one and two. Four points still on the line here in round three in our PFL featherweight standings. Harrison taking the center of the cage here. Now Harrison has almost nearly twice as many fights as Haibulayev. That's showing Haibulayev. Haibulayev is showing a high level right now. He's still probing, he's still making reads, he's still trying to understand what's going on with Andre Harrison's offense. He's not making any mistakes. 
There's Super Steven Seiler, runner up from last season, watching this featherweight action. It's a deep, deep pool at 145 pounds here in PFL season two. Continue to feel things out here. Pace slowing a little bit. Three minutes and 30 seconds remain in this featherweight bout. Don't stay still. Don't stay still. Go to the left. Move to the left. You go behind, go behind to the side. And start, start, start with punch. Go from, from the right. You, 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 jab and then to the right. Move, move on to him. Go with the jab, get inside. Go from the You have to work. Yeah, control him. Yes. Harrison scores with a body kick there as you hear the coaching from Ovlid Haigulayev's blue corner. Thanks to our Russian translator. Eve, interesting approach here. Uh, I don't want to say tentative, but at least strategic for both guys. They're, they're being very strategic, but what somebody needs to do right now is start asking real questions and use the jab to do it. Put the jab out, make it make it real. Try to be offensive with that. Throw that jab as if you want to hit Andre. Andre holds that jab as he want to hit Movlid. And he's gonna get some reactions out of it. Right hand just misses there from Movlid. Here's Harrison's corner. Put it across the body. Put it across the body. Mix it up, come back down. Don't go back. Go back on him, back on him. Forward, forward. Two minutes remain here in this featherweight bout. Randy. To me, the outcome's still very much in doubt. So how do you coach a fighter when you got to respect the opponent and his power, but you also need aggression to steal this round? Yeah, I mean, they've got to open up. They've got to take a risk. Both guys respect each other. I get that. Both guys have, have hurt each other, but you've got to be able to open up and distinguish yourself in this third round to get the fight. 90 seconds remaining. Who will steal round three and potentially this fight? Single leg attempt there by Mavlid Haibulayev. Elevates. Nice balance by Andre Harrison. Loser's in, moves his feet, using the cage now. Of lead transitions. And now Harrison isolates an arm. Of lead thinks better of it, drops back down to the leg. One minute left as Harrison tries to knee at Haibulaya with his back against the cage. Smart attempt by Haibulaya, and one takedown at this point in the fight could, could steal the round, honestly. For me, it comes into play now. How do judges score a takedown, a sprawl, a good sprawl? Sometimes defense is its own reward. Well, he has to be defensive. He can't give up a takedown here because that could be the distinguishing thing in this round that gets the round for Haibulaya. Of course. You have, to, you have to defend the choke. You have to, well, defense has to happen or you lose. Right. I, my point is that sometimes a judge will score not the aggression for Haibulayev in the takedown attempt here, but score in favor of the guy who's not taken down rather than making the defense be its own reward. And I think you have to reward the offense. At least that's how I would see it if I was the judge. Who forced that? Who made that happen? We've I seen it both it. ways. Ten I seconds I agree. left, I and here it is. <laughs> the cut there on Mavlid Haibulayev. Probably the result of an incidental headbutt, so you can't score that as damage necessarily. This could be a draw. That could be a 10-8 round. Harrison wants the second round. Who knows who won this third round? It's hard to say. Really hard to say how it'll be scored by the judges. Obviously, the first round to both lead. Is it a 10-8? A lot of times it has to be dominance throughout a round before you get a 10-8. Not just close to a finish. Yeah, third round, Andre controlled the center of the cage and, and really kept Haibulayev on the defense most of the fight, so it's well, really, really tough to score. Eve, Randy and I can't decide, so you tell us who won this fight. <laughs> Why you gotta put it all on me, man? We look at these Cajunomics, though, and we see that Movlid landed the most strikes. He was the more offensive fighter out there, but sometimes that is not everything. He did land the, the most ground strikes, and that came after landing that flying knee, stunning Andre Harrison, and, and pouring the flurry on. 
Worth noting, by the way, the judges, the official judges, don't get to look at the Cajunomics numbers. They can't just say, well, that was a close one. Who landed more punches? They've got to decide for themselves. We don't give them our Cajunomics numbers. <laughs> All right, Eve, walk me through this replay here. Right here, Andre Harrison fires a big kick to the body, and Hyvalev does not react to it. That's a great off, great time to fire back. And right here, Hyvalev shoots in for the single leg. He tries to change levels and lift that leg high to get a dump, but Andre Harrison has good balance. He throws that wizard in, he starts defending, and pummels that leg to the inside to defend. Covering the head. But right, right there, Hyvalev had an opportunity to finish that takedown, but Andre Harrison made the right adjustment. He's doing a great job of defending against the fence. Right here, he's got to separate those hands and create space so he can get himself back to the center. It's a really close fight. Very close fight, very high level fight. Fascinating the way the first round ended, the second round started. It doesn't get much better than that. Nasty cut there on the eyebrow of Mavlin Haibalaya. Andre Harrison came over asking me what I think of the fight. Telling him it's close. He says he thinks he won that one. Great fight. Both these men feel they won that fight. It was a great fight. <laughs> Feeling positive on both ends. Mavlin Haibalaya. I say you Andre both get Harrison. the playoffs and let's do it again. <laughs> Harrison's over there next to the, the score table. He wants to know before everybody else. He's trying to read the cards. Honestly, I, this, I think this is going to be a draw. But, and you know what? I've got absolutely no problem with that. Nothing definitive happened in round three. Clearly, round one goes simple bleed with the near finish. I think you get two rounds for Andre Harrison, the second and the third round. 1.10-9-10-9 and a 10-8 round for, for Mavlid in the first round. Keith Peterson will bring the fighters to the center of the cage. Lillian Garcia will tell us who actually won this one, if anybody did. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards. The totals are 29-28 for Harrison, with the other two judges scoring the fight, 28-28 for a majority draw. Both fighters were earned one point in the featherweight division. A point each for Andre Harrison and Mavlin Haibulaya. That might be the first time I've ever seen a draw, honestly. Nobody takes a loss. One point in our featherweight standings, and Mavlid still undefeated. Do over. I want to see that one again come the playoffs. And of course, it will be good enough for both of those men clinching playoff spots. Mavlid Haibulayev still in the number one spot right now. Andre Harrison, number three in the standings. Caroline Pierce. I, do we call him a winner? He's got, uh, she's got Andre Harrison inside of the PFL Smart Cage. Thanks, Sean. Well, Andre, you're shaking your head there. Uh, not the decision that you expected. No, it's, it's definitely not the what I wanted. But I mean, I had a game opponent. He came in here. He's tough as nails, and you know, we both put it all out here on the line. You know, um, I don't know how much you guys watch boxing, but we had not one but two guys passed away, um, putting it all out on the line, competing in here. And you know, that's what me and Kabulov tried to do just now. Came out here and pushed everything to the limit. Let's talk about the end of the first round with the flying knee and you looked like you were, you were, you know, not out, but you were defending yourself pretty good in there. Did you think when the ref stepped in that you'd lost the fight or did you know it was the end of the round? I thought it was the end of the round because I heard the guy with the, with the blocks. So I figured, you know, 10 seconds left and that, you know, that was happening at, towards the end. But I mean, I, I trained at Belmore Kickboxing, you know, we have, the hardest sparring, you know, out there. So, you know, put being in the in a spot like that, that's, you know, I'm not you know, a stranger to being in a bad position and we're having to work my way back. Well, we saw in the second round that big right hand that you landed yourself. It's almost as if Mowgli lit a fire underneath you. And as Eve said in our pre-fight talk, you know, brought you out of your shell like we haven't seen before. How did that fire you up? Um, well, I mean, I knew, I knew he won that first round, so 
I knew I needed to do something in that second and third round to, to make something happen. So when I landed that shot and I hit it with, I think it was an uppercut right after, and I saw that it cut his eye open, I was like, all right, you know, he got me first round, I got him this round. Let me see if I can try and, you know, get him away or have another dominant third round. So, yeah. Is that a fight you'd like to play back again? Yeah, man, it was definitely a fun fight. I thought it was a fun fight for the fans. I don't know how they thought about it, but <laughs> I definitely thought it was a dope fight, man. Well, Tokulov is definitely a tough guy, man, and I felt like we had a, a good night out here. Well, you got yourself one point for the draw. That's four points in total. Good enough to take you through to the playoffs. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you. Have a good night. Andre Harrison, everybody. I'm going to bring in Mowgli. Mowgli. Your name's the killer and you, you certainly went in there with killer instinct. Talk to us about that, first of all, the, the kind of spinning kick to start the round and then the flying knee to end it. Was that the plan going in? Мавли, мы вы известны как убийца, и как вы считаете, как сегодня ваш бой прошел, как вы себя оцениваете? Честно говоря, после первого поединка, который я выиграл на Каутом, я знал, что с меня они больше будет этот ждать тоже на Каута. И старался выиграть поединок также красиво. After the first fight that I would by knockout, I knew that people are watching me and I had to deliver. Um, so I think the first round went pretty well. Думал, думал я уже выиграл досрочно бой, судя когда помешался. I thought the, the fight was over, uh, but the referee intervened. И в этот момент я расслабился уже дальше. Приходится продолжить бой. Был настроен не так уж, как уже в первых раундах. So that kind of pushed my mood a little bit back, and I knew that now I have to deliver, so that was a little bit of disappointment for me. Well, you're still top of the table right now. You've clinched your spot in the playoffs. Congratulations. Вы до сих пор являетесь лидером, победителем. Как вы считаете, как дальше будет продолжать? Честно говоря, для меня для меня важны исход поединка. Быть победителем. Я не ожидал, что судьи примут такое решение. Я выиграл первый раунд. Я у них преимущество. For me, uh, being a leader, that means winning a fight. So that was my plan. So that's a little bit of setback. Uh, but again, I uh, keep my head up. True competitive spirit. Move it, Back to you, Sean.